Greetings and welcome back to another episode of The Vodcast Plays Scum. Alright, we're going to dive right into it. This is my original character that I've been playing. Or not original, but one of my other characters that I've been playing. We're going to go ahead and start a new character so you can see how that goes along and how the beginning of the game starts. We're going to do it in single player so we don't have to deal with other players or, or getting mauled. Um, right now on my server, my personal server, I have all the damage set off, turned off for the zombies. So they will not damage me. That's the only thing I have turned, oh, and the mechs. But I don't think we're going to get to those today. So let's start with making a character. Um, that does not mean I cannot die. I'm going to create. Okay. Let's name this one Herbie for Herbie. And unfortunately... That's weird. I'm hearing things that I've never heard in this game before. Okay, so as you can see here, there's something called penis size. Now, most men, for whatever reason they choose, would probably want to be average to large. But we're going to go ahead and stick it down to nothing. Now, the reason why you do this is look at his attributes here. The lower it goes, the higher the dexterity and intelligence goes. So in a game where that doesn't really matter, we're just going to we're going to make it a little one. A little baby one. Okay, so my intelligence is super important because I like engineering. I like building things. So we just got to kind of find a happy medium around here. You lose weight in the game doing certain things, and you gain weight in the game doing certain things as well. Uh, there's always this little sweet spot I like somewhere. Where is it? Everything's in the threes. All right, that seems about good. We're just going to go with that. Uh, I'm not going to worry about any head types or tattoos. You can turn on tattoos, and there's all different styles, but I really don't give a shit. Uh, gender, we'll stick with male. We'll stick with the main head type. We'll go next. Now we assign our scores, and this is the fun part. So at the beginning, you're basically going to make an axe. That's the first thing we're going to do when we get into the game. So it's nice to have a little bit in melee weapons, even if you can get it up to basic. Uh, the next thing I find that I... I usually find in the game a lot is is rifles boxing is great but I never use it because you always have the ability to find a weapon nearby or make a spear or something handguns they're pretty important archery I never use uh, we'll bring boxing up a little bit just in case we have to do some hand-to-hand -hand. I'd actually rather get that up a little okay I am happy with that running and endurance both super critical to the game get them up as high as you can as quickly as you can uh, running is probably a little bit more important, especially at the beginning, because you're going to run into a lot of zombies, and when you do, you're not always going to be able to get away. That should be good. I'm happy with that. Actually, let's bring this down. Okay, that's good. Okay, dexterity. We won't be doing many thievery skills, so I'm not going to worry about that here. Driving is super important. As soon as you find a car, you want to be able to control the car. Throwing... If you want to throw a grenade and not blow yourself up, that's somewhat important. And stealth is, is, is super important as well if you're trying to hide from uh, puppets or other players if you're in multiplayer. We'll bring that up. Oh, you know what? We do need to bring up our demolition a little bit because demolition does open up some stuff in the game. Oh, shit on me. Okay, we've gotten through that. Let's move on to intelligence. Awareness allows you to, like, know if what's around you like you can hear things um sniping i used to do a lot of this and it's a lot of fun if you get a good weapon with a good scope on it camouflage helps you hide survival engineering i am going to crank that motherfucker up and then survival i'm going to bring up and camouflage and awareness we'll bring up some uh, that's it okay well let's just go ahead let's get into the game arson for some reason everyone is arrested for arson this is just basically your stats and your information. Uh, so here we go. And you do not start out naked. You actually do start out in prison garb. In case you were worried. Okay. So I, the way I play is I do not look at a map until I find Secure a Secure communication with human asset uh, is yeah, established. Sure. Greetings, human asset. Welcome to Scum Island tutorial protocol provided by... Secure communication with human asset established. Okay, I don't want to deal with that right now. That's basically the tutorial, which I highly recommend doing, but it's basically going to teach you how to do all of this anyway. Um, okay, we got one stone. We need two small stones to make a knife, and then we can start doing things. 
Okay, we got it. So let's make our knife. You go in here. Here's your list of stuff that you can craft. Which also, if you turn on, there's a god mode. You can basically just build whatever you want, whenever you want, you know, wherever you want, whatever you need. I do that a lot with base building just because I really enjoy the aspect of the game. Probably my favorite part of survival games is the base building uh, and, and, and some of the crafting. Okay, so we need a bag and we need an axe. So we need a large stone. We did not get one. I don't, I think we do. Let me see. Okay, if we want, no, we just want a regular one. That's fine. Let's go with that. And it's funny, I try to point at the screen, but you guys can't see it. But over here, uh, it'll give you the ingredients of what you need. And always make sure you pick up, oh, balls on my face. All right, so we're going to have to keep that in our hand and keep this in our inventory. Why can't I put that up there? Oh, well, doesn't matter. Okay, so what do we need for an axe? Let's take a look. So for an axe, we got the head, we need a long wooden stick, and we need rope. Okay, so the easiest way to make rope is to cut up your clothing, but if there are bushes around, you can cut the bushes down and get long sticks and small sticks. And to make rope, there's bark rope, and then there's improvised. Improvised bark rope, and I don't, I don't know what the other one is. Okay, so we got two small sticks. What do we need to make rope? To make rope, we need five small sticks and something to cut them with. So we've got enough big ones here. Are those? No, these are the big ones. Okay, so let's cut these into small sticks. And if we end up with enough, we might be able to do the ax right now. And that would be super exciting. Fuck, my water is across the room. And I'm not going to get up right now. Okay. Let's make some rope. Let's make some rope. We're gonna make some rope. Make an axe. Kill some zombies. That's what we do here on the podcast. Okay, let's move on up here. Here we go. We can now make our axe. I need a drink. I, my throat is dry as a desert. A dry fucking desert. I would not want to be stuck in the desert. Survival is a fun thing. I like... I like thinking about putting myself into survival situations and the one place I would not want to find myself it would be a desert because I don't think I could survive in a desert. Okay, what can we cut these into? Can we do anything with those? I feel like we should. We have an axe now. Those are small wooden logs. Okay, you can use those for fires and stuff, but I'm not going to carry them because I have no space for them. Now we want a bag. These are the two most important things at the beginning of the game, I think. And usually the only things that I ever craft are these two things. So I need rags, and I need rope, and I need a knife. Okay. So to get rags, the best way is to start by cutting things that don't have inventory slots. And that'll give you the rags you need. How many do you need? Three and rope. Okay, so I still gotta make rope too. Okay, let's put this here. Let's carry that for now. And we'll put this one here. Because we're gonna need more rope. If we're gonna make a bag. We're gonna make a bag. Hey, what do you guys think about me trying this tomorrow morning on the podcast? Podcast. I thought I'd make some toast and put a some put the some of the mics a hot to honey on it. Um I'd heard a lot of good stuff about this. There was a ton of reviews on Amazon, and I just happened to see it at Walmart the other day when I was looking for Tony Shashery saw uh, spices. So I got it. It was cheap, inexpensive. Okay. So once again, we're probably going to have to cut those into small sticks. And from there, we can make rope. No, we can't make rope. Can we make rope? Yeah, we can make rope. Let's make some rope. And then we're going to make a fucking bag to carry our shit. If you don't have something to carry a shit in this game, you're screwed. Like, you can come across a town and find everything you need, but if you don't have something to carry it in, you are out of luck. All right. Now, from what I understand, upcoming uh, updates for the game are going to include missions and NPCs in the game. So far, everything in the game is basically just you if you're on solo or if you're playing on a server, you know, you're playing multiplayer and fighting other people. Uh, what am I making? A bag. Okay, so what do I need still? I got rope. I got the knife, so I need one more cloth. Let's cut my socks or underwear. Let's go with socks. Yeah, let's cut the socks. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, is that enough? That's enough. I guess that's all we need. The condition were horrible, too. Normally, when you are when you first start the game, you're at 100% on all your stuff before it degrades and so on and so forth. But it looks like I just think cutting something with a stone knife isn't going to bring it down to 24%. Well, I guess if you don't know how to. Maybe it's based on my skills. I'm not a, I'm not completely sure. There's a lot going on in this game. Like, this is the metabolism. I know I showed you in the first video. Uh, right now, I am in desperate need of food and water. So I'm going to take my bag and try to find a nearby city. In the city. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's equip this. Is that a long one? Okay, we get a long one. What? Is that one? Yeah. Okay, so we have it. We might as well make an improvised spear as well, because these things don't last forever. And when you're fighting puppets out there, you're going to need a weapon. Oh, let me tell you, you're going to need a weapon. You're going to need three weapons. Now we get two. Okay, um, where the hell are we? Okay, so at least if we climb up to the top of this hill here, we can basically see where we're at, and we will stop there. I don't know if you guys can hear what I can hear or not. I think I fixed the audio issues, but if I didn't, we'll work on it. We're getting there. I see audio. Okay. Okay, there's a bridge right there. That means we're along the southern coast of this island. Uh, what do we want to do? Something's out there. I just heard it. I don't know if we want to head to the new area or the old area. Because you guys haven't seen any of this game. Unless you've watched it or played it yourself. Watched it yourself. Just want to go up a little bit further. Okay, so that's north. You can see the snow-covered mountains out there. So in this latest release, too, I think I've got the graphics pretty much cranked up on this game. That is still pretty choppy on that other screen. Huh. Well, I'm doing the best I can, folks. All right. What we're going to do in the next episode of the Vodcast podcast plays is we're going to make our way down to that bridge that we saw. Actually, there might be one closer. We'll just head south until we hit... Where are we heading? Okay, we're probably heading south. That's the only thing they tell you if you don't have a compass is north. So this is definitely south, and it lets me know where I am. I'm not going to check the map, though. <laughs> I almost did. Okay, well, I'll let you guys go as I'm heading to this uh, bridge over here. And in the next episode, we'll cross the bridge and see what we can find. Be nice to get some clothes, get some weapons, get some food and water ahead. Maybe find a house that we can settle down in. Thank you guys for checking this out. If you guys are loving watching this as much as I'm loving making it, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hitting the little bell icon to let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliveira, and I'll catch you in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Take care, everybody. Oh, damn it. Ha, 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 ha.